The F-16 fighter delivered to Ukraine was mistakenly shot down by the Patriot Air Defense System. This was said to Mariana Bazugla, a deputy of the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine. According to my information, the F-16 plane of the Ukrainian pilot Alexei Mezin was shot down by the Patriot Anti-Aircraft Missile Complex due to the failure of coordination between the units, he wrote on the Telegram channel. One of the possible causes of the F-16 fighter crash, which is currently being considered by the investigation, is friendly fire from Ukrainian air defense, Voice of America reports, citing its own sources in the Ukrainian Air Force. Various versions are being considered, including friendly fire from our own air defenses, a technical malfunction, and pilot error. But the exact reasons will only be known after the investigation is completed, said a representative of the armed forces, who spoke on condition of anonymity. At the same time, the publication's interlocutor criticized media reports that the probable causes were supposedly already known. It should be noted that it has been officially confirmed that the Ukrainian F-16 fighter crashed and the pilot died. The cause of the accident is not disclosed. As the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine later reported, the pilot successfully destroyed four Russian missiles and was approaching a fifth target when contact with him was lost. The final version of the causes of the disaster has not yet been reported. Reuters sources say that it was not enemy air defense fire, and CNN sources deny the pilot error version. However, technical malfunction and friendly fire are being voiced as possible versions. The General Staff of Ukrainian Armed Forces have confirmed the first case of loss of F-16 fighter aircraft in its territory. In a statement released on Thursday, the General Staff stated that the fighter jet was destroyed in a crash on Monday. While approaching the target, contact was lost with one of the F-16s. As it turned out later, the plane crashed and the pilot died, the statement reads. A special commission of the Ministry of Defense has been assigned to work in the area of the crash to determine the causes of the accident. It should be noted that the accident took place weeks after Ukraine received the first batch of much-anticipated F-16 fighter jets. Kiev has been lobbying for Western partners' delivery of American-made aircraft to its territory, claiming that fighter jets will help the country fight back against Russia's superior air power. Ex-Danish Lockheed Martin F-16s engaged Russian cruise missiles in aerial combat three weeks after Ukraine received its first batch of American fighters. Western military experts say Ukraine initially intended to use the F-16s as air defense weapons. During the battle, they were armed with AIM-9 and AIM-120 air-to-air missiles, Forbes reports. The missile attack on Ukraine on August the 26th was the largest in 29 months of war. The enemy attacked with both missiles and kamikaze drones. On August the 26th, 102 missiles and 99 drones were destroyed. Experts write that Kyiv is arming its fighters with AIM-9 and AIM-120 missiles from the 1980s. However, there is a big plus in the fact that there are many of them in the arsenal of Ukraine's allies. Experts are confident that by the end of the year, Kyiv will use F-16s only as air defense to shoot down missiles. However, as soon as their fleet increases significantly, strikes will be carried out against enemy air defense systems and aircraft of the Russian Aerospace Forces. To protect the F-16s from Russian missiles, Ukraine retained the fighter's recently installed Pylon Integrated Dispensing System and Electronic Combat Pylon Systems. PIDs and ESIPs, respectively. PIDs emits metallic reflectors and dazzlers to simulate incoming radar and infrared guided missiles. ESIPs contain passive defenses in addition to the active reflectors and dazzlers, including a jammer to suppress ground radars and a missile warning system. 
Recall, the United States has reprogrammed the electronic warfare systems on Ukrainian F-16 fighters, which turned the aircraft into real invisibles for Russian radars. This was reported by the Western portal The War Zone, citing its own sources. According to incoming information, before being sent to Ukraine, the aircraft underwent a deep modernization within the framework of which engineers of the 68th Squadron of the US Armed Forces updated the machines intended for the Ukrainian Air Force. American specialists are the bearers of advanced experience in electronic warfare and are constantly engaged in increasing the survivability of U.S. Air Force aircraft. Together with engineers from Europe, the Americans reprogrammed the electronic warfare systems on F-16 fighters from Denmark and the Netherlands. Journalists found out that the engineers did a lot of complex work to make the fighters more protected from threats from Russia. Work on the aircraft systems proved challenging due to tight deadlines and the need to modify a system not in U.S. service. To carry out this challenging task, the 68th Squadron assembled a dedicated team of experienced experts.